For our next video, we are going to work on adding narration or voiceover to an iMovie project or an iMovie slideshow. Now let's say for instance, uh, there are certain things that a caption or a title or simply just looking at a picture won't fully explain to your audience what it is that you are trying to get across. In these instances, it would be important for you to be able to do a voiceover or to narrate uh, a particular portion, or maybe you want to narrate the whole thing. The way that we can go about doing some narration uh, is right here in the middle, there's a little microphone. And when you click on the microphone, you will get some options on how to do some voiceover and how to do some narration. One thing that I would say to do first, though, is if you have already added any music or any sound effects, uh, I would say that you definitely want to mute these or to decrease their volume because it will record anything that is making any noise. And the way that this program does this is it's going to actually play what your slideshow and what's going on in your slideshow. So you're going to want to be able to uh, mute out anything that's going on. So I'm just going to go into my uh, audio inspector and I'm just going to decrease the volume to zero which means that uh, any music or sound effects that I have uh, they will basically be muted. So we'll move those down to zero for volume and now when I kind of scan over or play through you can't hear anything because I've muted them basically. So I can now do any kind of recording or voiceover that I want and then I can always increase their volume later if I really want um, music or sound effects to be underneath anything that I might be saying. So here's how this is going to work. We want to click on the microphone for voiceover. Now you can see uh, on our preview screen it says click a clip to start recording. And you can see that I have a built-in microphone so that's how uh, it is registering my sound. You can adjust your input volume to anything that you would like. Uh, you can play the project while you're recording or if you don't want that to happen then it won't play the project while you're recording so you don't have to worry about that either. Um, there will be some added noise reduction uh, so it's got some nice features in order for you to do this. I want it to play my project because I want to be able to see uh, the slides so I can be able to to talk and discuss. One thing that I would recommend is if you plan on doing a lot of narration, I would write down in advance what it is that you're going to say so you remember everything. And also, uh, I would not do this in one shot over the course of a two or three minute video that you are making a slideshow. Maybe you're making a 10 minute slideshow. That's a lot to be able to do in one take. Uh, so go slide by slide. You can always adjust the length of your slides and images to match whatever it is that you have recorded. So if you record something that's 25 seconds long, you can always extend the image to be there for 25 seconds so it matches what you've done. You can always do that later. But for instance, let's say that I want to you know, add something right here at the beginning. Notice the little microphone that pops up as I'm up in the editing bar uh, of the slideshow and it says click a clip to start recording so I'm gonna I wanna start right at the beginning here's how it's gonna work I'm gonna click notice the countdown this is an iMovie slideshow about Achilles the greatest Greek warrior this is a test and when I'm done I just click and notice how it drops that right underneath my sound effect and you can see it is now in purple once I'm all finished with that, I can click out of the voiceover. Now you can continue if you wanted to add more things. I can go back into my voiceover. I can come back up here to the beginning and do another one. This is a test. Achilles, a Greek warrior, begins with the marriage of Peleus and Thetis, Achilles' parents. And so now I have another one. And if I didn't like that one and it didn't flow the way I wanted it to flow, I can always delete that out and do it over however I see fit. Notice I'm using the Play Project uh, audio while recording. Uh, you can always you know, get rid of that uh, if you need to. So 
Now that I'm done with my voiceover, I can get out of the voiceover box. Uh, it, the voiceover has a little menu as well. And so uh, I can reduce the volume of, of the other sound effects so you can hear me clearly, which I like. Uh, there's fade in and fade outs. Uh, everything else is on there. I'm now going to bring back up the volume of what I had that was already there. So I'll hit done and I'll bring back up my volume for this one as well. And here is what my voiceover would sound like. This is an iMovie slideshow about Achilles, the greatest Greek warrior. This is a test. And notice it goes right in. Uh, while I have my voiceover going, everything else, I decreased the sound. You can do that if you want or not. Uh, it's up to you. And that is how you can add narration. Again, you can add as much or as little narration as you want to your project. It just depends on your audience and how much you would like to explain. Uh, and again, remember, you can always adjust the actual clip or the actual slide to match whatever it is you're going to want to say. Because you might have something to say about a particular image that's a lot versus other times you might just have something quick or you might not want to say anything at all. So you can always adjust those things as you move forward.